Station, ABC for Utah, celebrating 70 years of being good for Utah. You know, among other things, Southern Utah is known for its sunny days and the incredible landscapes, but it's also home for a lot of people with pioneer heritage. Tonight, Good for Utah reporter, reporter Carolyn Hood brings us the Pioneer Day celebrations going on in St. George. Loving Pioneer Day is something most Utahns have in common, but determining what the best part of Pioneer Day is, now that's where everyone seems to have their own opinion. My favorite thing about Pioneer Day is the traditions. I love winning and getting the ice cream. I love that we get another excuse to have some festivities and also honor our ancestors. I love having snow cones. I like doing the foot races. <laughs> Pioneer Day is much more than pancakes and the parades, which we all enjoy. One Southern Utah boy realized this after reading the accounts of his heroic pioneer ancestors, discovering that the true treat isn't necessarily the candy, rather the life lessons he learned. My great, 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 great grandpa, John Friedrich Ferdinand Doris, was fearless. He was attacked by mobs multiple times. And the next morning, he was healed by the power of God. Spencer Ford from Washington has been studying his pioneer ancestors, and he's pretty impressed. The pioneers were tough. I mean, like, super tough. And they were also super righteous because they left all their belongings, their homes, their schools, their churches, everything. And they just trusted in the Lord to know where they needed to go. And they got there. Reporting from Washington City, Caroline Hood, good for Utah. All right.